artifacts. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change your voice using a program called WavePad Sound Editor. If you don't have WavePad Sound Editor installed on your computer, you can download it for free at www.nch.com.au slash wavepad. And I recommend downloading the free version because you, if you download the pro version, you're going to have to register it after 30 days. And since I already have it installed on my computer, I'm going to skip all those steps and go straight to the program. When you open WavePad Sound Editor, you have two options. You can either open a new file and edit it, or you can push new file and then record a sound. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file and select the highest bitrate possible, which is 9600, and I'm going to press OK. I'm going to use my own voice to edit so I can show examples of some of the effects that WavePad Sound Editor has. All the effects are located here in the menu bar. When you start recording, it's going to bring up a record control window like the one seen. And anytime when you're starting to record and you mess up, just push this button here and it will let you restart from the beginning. Now I'm going to start by doing something very simple. I'm going to take my voice and I'm going to put it into the program like I'm doing right now. You can see it. You can see the bar going across the screen as I talk. You want to make sure though that when you're talking that the bar never reaches the very end to zero because then you're going to get a very loud noise. And Once you're done recording, just push X or stop. Now here comes the fun part where now I can take my sound that I recorded and change it. The first thing that I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the pitch to 75 and then I'm going to press OK. And it's going to take a long time to do this since I'm recording both my screen and I'm processing audio. And the next effect that I'm going to add is the chorus effect. It won't take as long as changing the pitch. So here it goes. And then I'm going to play it back so you can hear what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to start by doing something very simple. I'm going to take my voice and I'm going to put it into the program. If I can do it right now, you can see it. You can see the bar going across the screen as I talk. You want to make sure though that when you're talking, that the bar never reaches the very end to zero, because then you're going to get a very loud noise. And once you're done recording, just push X or stop. Now you can undo what you've done. I'm going to undo this and I'm going to add another effect to it. I'm going to add the gargle effect and it's part of DirectX by Microsoft. And yes, this program does use DirectX sound effects. So actually some of them are pretty cool. And I'm going to, I'm going to render it and I'm going to play back. I'm going to start by doing something very simple. I'm going to take my voice and I'm going to put it into the program like I'm doing right now. You can see it. You can see the bar going across the screen as I talk. You want to make sure though that when you're talking that the bar never reaches the very end to zero because then you're going to get a very loud noise. And once you're done recording, just push X or 